My name is Jeff White, and I'm the research entomologist for Bedbug Central and the host of Bedbug TV, bedbugcentral.com. I have no idea how I got into bugs and bedbugs. And here I am six years later and having a lot of fun working with bedbugs. And I'll be talking to you about pest control. Cracks and crevices are the name of the game. And when it comes to bed bugs, where do they hide? Just there. Dark places that are undisturbed, whether it's a crack, a crevice, a void, or any other area where light typically doesn't shine and people aren't typically going to bother them. And of course, bed bugs are called bed bugs for a reason. They're going to hide in beds. And so where they hide is typically the bed. And if we look at a bed, you know, people see images of bed bugs on mattresses and they think they're always just running around on the mattresses if you have a problem. These bugs don't like to be bothered. And so they're not gonna typically just be on top of the mattress. We're changing our sheets. We're getting on and off the bed. We're rolling around as we sleep and God knows what else is going on in the bed that we're not gonna talk about in this topic. But the bottom line is the top of that bed is constantly disturbed. And so where they typically are found is on the bottom of the box spring. Cracks, crevices, staple seams, the plastic corner protectors, anywhere they can go that they can hide and not readily be seen. Headboards are also common areas we find bugs associated with. The back of the headboard, in types of cracks and crevices and seams. Now, as infestations grow though, they can get into other things. That's why it's so important to find these infestations early on. They can easily start to get into alarm clocks, adjustable wrenches, nightstands, dressers, closets. And so as these infestations grow, they get much more difficult to control and they can infest all kinds of different items. Also, couches are very common areas that bed bugs will hide. People often sleep on couches because it's the end of a long work day and they fall asleep on the couch, or they go out and sleep on the couch because they're being bit by something in their bed and the bugs will just follow people out to that couch. And so again, seams, edges, folds, the bottom of the couch are all common areas to look for bed bugs. But again, the most important thing to think about is bed bugs hide in cracks and crevices. And so they're not going to just be readily out on the top of things just walking around. You need to do some work, you need to do some research, you need to look real deep because that's where bed bugs will be hiding. <laughs>